How's it going guys? Bring your platoon here and welcome back to another great game in World of Tanks Xbox One Edition post update 6.0. Today I'm going to be in the Diamondback otherwise known as the Turtle Mark 1, a tier 8 British premium tank destroyer on uh, World of Tanks PC. Uh, for some reason we just got... Did we, did we also get the Turtle? Or is it just renamed the Diamondback for convenience purposes because we already have a mercenaries tank that's called the Turtle? Uh, either way. Moving on. It's got 20 kilometers an hour top speed. Forwards, reverse speed is topped out at 10 kilometers an hour. That's not very quick at all. This thing is known for its fucking DPM potential, much like all the rest of the Tier 8 uh, British premium tank destroyers. It's got a 150... What? It's a 55 pounder gun. Might as well be a 105 millimeter gun. That deals 330 damage on average per penetration, 224 pen for the standard AP rounds, and then 253 for the premium APCR rounds, and then a whole whopping 54 millimeters of pen for the high explosive rounds, dealing 430 instead of the average 330 on average per penetration. Dispersion values at 100 meters is 0.36, aim time is 1.9, very great, very fantastic. Health is 1400, did that change for us? No, we still have the same amount of health on our version as well, that's nice. View range is 370, gun depression is 310 degree, what? 310? Sure. Gun depression is 10 degrees, much like all the rest of the Brits. Gun elevation is 20 degrees, not very good at all, actually. Uh, fire chance to be set on fire is a 1 in 5 sh shots, so 20% chance. Um, it's got really good hull armor, as long as you're being extremely hull down, or using all of your gun depression. You can make that armor work up to around values of uh, 280, which kind of sucks because uh, tier 8s, well, I guess tier 9s and tier 10s will shoot premium at you and pretty much auto pen you every single time with 330 or 340 heat or APCR, doesn't matter what they're using, but they'll pen you no problem. But if they're not, then they won't pen you. And the things in your own tier can't pen you unless they hit your lower plate. So that's pretty funny as well. Artie is, of course, going to be your worst nightmare in this thing, considering how fucking slow you are. And just getting to the battle in general will be a stretch, because the at both the roof of your tank... God damn it. Sorry. I'm going to rephrase that, or just restart that sentence. The roof of your tank, from the upper plate connecting to the roof, and then your engine deck is also 38.1 mil millimeters thick. So if Artie dicks on you in any of those areas, it's going to suck ass. If they don't hit your front, it's going to hurt a lot, which is why I would recommend putting on the... Well, I guess I wouldn't recommend the Spall Liner, because I just I just wouldn't. Because it wouldn't help against... Like, sh I mean, it, mm, it would help against... FV-4005s and the Death Star FV-215B-183s spamming hash at you, but if you're in a tier 10 game, you only have 1400 health, so I don't know why you would just stand willy-nilly in front of them like that. So yeah, I don't take back what I said, the Spall Liner would not be worth it on this thing. Um, although it would prevent crew damage, which does help, but I don't know. Use that to your own discretion. Use what you feel is right. I just packed this thing up full of uh, DPM increasing things like the gun rammer and accuracy increasing perks slash skills, stuff like that. I wouldn't recommend putting clutch braking or off-road driving on this thing just because it doesn't make too much of a difference. Maybe off-road driving, but definitely not clutch braking because its traverse is just ass and you're much better off picking another perk that is better suited for it. Like... Uh, run and gun, I guess. Because you're slow enough, your accuracy is good enough to do it, and if you can move and shoot people reliably, then why wouldn't you? Just back your ass off, uh, uh, back your ass off into a corner if they're charging you, and then just use the terrain to just DPM the shit out of them while having them unable to go to your side. Pretty much all you can do in a 1v1 situation where they're trying to yellow you. But, yeah... I like this tank, but it does struggle getting to battles, considering your top speed is topped out at 20 kilometers an hour. 
Um, but it does make credits. A lot of the time, you're never going to have a problem making money in this thing. It just, it sucks how slow it is. And it sucks that the premium pen is only 253, but it's fine. It's fine. It's a British tank, or it's a premium tank. Not supposed to be overpowered. They're just supposed to be, you know, credit earners, which is exactly, eh, exactly what this thing is. Would I recommend you buy it? Probably not. There's better tanks you can buy for the money. But if you really like hold down TDs and you like the AT-15, you'll probably like this thing. Just because the AT-15 has hatches, this thing does not. So, if they can't pen you frontally like that, completely hull down, maybe you'll prefer this thing to the AT-15. Is the AT-15 any faster? I don't think it is. Tech Tree, UK. What did I get for damage here? Like, 10,000... God damn it. 5,000 combined. I will eventually mark this thing, but that'll take time because I don't feel like playing it over and over again. AT-15. Nope, AT-15 is also 20 kilometers, an, uh, 20 kilometers an hour. Does it have more DPM? No, the turtle actually does. Wow. Incredible. Or the diamondback. But anyway, that's the game. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you next time.